Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As was noted in the previous lesson, you can click a button or link within the print dialog box or pane of an application that is often named properties, page setup, settings, or something similar depending on the application to open a dialog box that allows you to adjust printer settings for the selected Adobe PDF printer within the program. The Adobe PDF settings tab that appears within this dialog box lets you adjust the conversion settings for your PDF. Note that this dialog box cannot be accessed from apps that can print within Windows 8. You can only access them when using programs run from the desktop environment. Also note that you will see these same settings appear in different areas when you are printing from many different types of applications. So it is best to learn what these settings are for in a separate lesson, since you will encounter them in so many places when creating PDF files. On the Adobe PDF Settings tab, you can select the set of default settings to use for the production of the PDF file by choosing a settings preset from the default settings drop-down. These preset settings include options for print quality, color conversion, press quality, and file size. Note that you can click the adjacent edit button or hyperlink to edit these preset settings within the Adobe PDF settings dialog box if needed. However, creating and saving preset settings within the Adobe PDF Settings dialog box will be discussed in a separate lesson in more detail. If you opened the Adobe PDF Settings dialog box, you can close it without saving your changes by clicking the Cancel button that appears at the bottom of the dialog box. Back in the Adobe PDF Settings tab, you can set default security settings for PDF production by using the Adobe PDF Security drop-down. You can choose to apply no security, to have Acrobat use the last known security settings, or to have Acrobat prompt you to reconfirm the security settings for each job by making the corresponding choice from the drop-down menu. If you select either the Reconfirm Security for each job or the Use the Last Known Security Settings option. Then you can click the adjacent Edit button or hyperlink to open the Adobe PDF Security dialog box where you can set the default security settings to apply. If you do this, then click the OK button to save and apply the security settings after making the desired changes. Security settings are discussed in the chapter titled Document Protection and Security. You can designate where your new PDF will be stored by default by using the Adobe PDF Output Folder drop-down. You can choose to prompt for a file name or simply save the files to the documents folder by default with the given file name by making a choice from the drop-down menu. You can also click the adjacent Browse button to open a Browse for Folder dialog box which you can use to select a default folder into which you want to save the newly created documents and then click the OK button that appears at the bottom of the dialog box to apply the new default saving location. To designate a default page size for your PDF documents, you can use the Adobe PDF Page Size drop-down to select a standard page size. If the page size you want to use has not been defined, you can click the adjacent Add button or hyperlink to open the Add Custom Paper Size dialog box. Type a new name for the custom paper size into the Paper Names drop-down field. In the Unit section, select Inch, Millimeter, or Point to set the measurement units that you are about to enter as being measured in inches, units, or points. Then enter the desired measurement units into the Width and Height fields within the Paper Size section.
Then click the Add Slash Modify button to add your own custom paper size to the drop down list. You can then select it from the Adobe PDF Page Size drop down list in the Adobe PDF Settings tab. Also note that you can modify and delete custom page sizes that you have created within the Add Custom Paper Size dialog box if needed by using the drop down within that dialog box to select a custom paper size that you have created and then either making the modifications and then clicking the Add Slash Modify button again to modify it or by clicking the Delete button to delete it. Now back in the Adobe PDF Settings tab, you will next see several options that can be checked or unchecked depending on which features you prefer to enable by default. By default, the View Adobe PDF Results checkbox is checked. If checked, this will launch Acrobat and display your new PDF whenever a new PDF is created. The Add Document Information checkbox, if checked, will add any document information and metadata from the original file into the new PDF file that is created. This includes, but is not limited to, information such as the document's title, date and time created, subject and author, for example. The Rely on System Fonts Only, Do Not Use Document Fonts checkbox, if checked, will only use existing fonts from your computer to render a PDF. Leave this option checked if working with Asian language documents. If unchecked, you can download fonts when creating a PDF, which takes longer, but makes all fonts in the original document available in the PDF. The Delete Log Files for Successful Jobs checkbox, if checked, will delete the log file automatically after a PDF file is created, unless the PDF file creation fails. The Ask to Replace Existing PDF File checkbox, if checked, will prompt you to decide if you really want to overwrite an existing PDF if you are creating a PDF of the same name in the same location. If unchecked, the file is immediately overwritten. After making any changes to these conversion settings on the Adobe PDF Settings tab in the respective printer dialog boxes, click the OK buttons to apply them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.